Hello everyone, welcome to webmastercampus.com. In this tutorial, we are going to learn Bootstrap. What is Bootstrap? Why we use Bootstrap? And how useful Bootstrap is while you are developing a responsive layout. Okay, so I am here on bootstrap.com. Also, in this tutorial, we will see uh, all the practical examples. We will be building website or responsive components, pages, so this will be a complete series and I will guide you to at least you can develop projects in using the bootstrap.com. Okay, so let's get started with bootstrap. So first I'm here on getbootstrap.com website. Okay, this is the homepage of website of framework bootstrap.com and you will you can find documentation example icon themes everything from this website related to bootstrap the latest version is 5.3 okay and why what is bootstrap bootstrap is used to build fast responsive sites with bootstrap okay and if you read about more powerful extensible featured pack mobile toolkit if you want to build and customize bootstrap you can use sas to customize and uh, build or use your own custom features if you are using you are going to use pre-built grid system and components okay i have also make a presentation so let's quickly watch that and then i will start guiding you how you can build pages using bootstrap.com okay let's get started so bootstrap 5 introduction all right so here we are bootstrap was originally developed by twitter okay and bootstrap is responsive web framework containing layouting generic styling enhancements and components to develop mobile first websites and web applications so you are going to develop a website where your focus on the mobile first like how your website is going to look on mobile okay so this is internally built in bootstrap so you will be using it and you can easily use the mobile first feature and layouting okay bootstrap is essentially a set of css classes and javascript functions okay so bootstrap have built-in set of css classes and set of javascript functions that you can use that help you build website and web application fast and efficiently Bootstrap take care of responsiveness, which means you will be able to create websites that look good on both mobile and on desktop. Okay, so whatever you are going to build, Bootstrap take care how it will be looking uh, on mobile. Okay, and you can definitely customize it on your requirement, but Bootstrap help you to make your website on the mobile first okay because when you are going to use bootstrap on mobile at dimensions on the uh, in pixels so it will definitely help to build a mobile layout okay we will be seeing that while we i will be demonstrating you to the development okay so advantages of bootstrap bootstrap is a, a 12 column grid bootstrap is simply extremely easy to use okay you the very uh, short learning curve or learning path you can easily master it within a single day or spend some hours and you will understand how easy it is how it's useful in your uh, website development it saves time and less effort Bootstrap gets normal updates like right now the version is 5.3 but previously 5.2, 5.1, 5, 5 uh, I believe 4, 3, 2 okay so if we go backward so Bootstrap is progressing it's moving forward with new changes and new updates responsive features like you will uh, get the features so you can easily make a responsive website that maybe that will be compatible with your different devices platform independent like the website that you are going to build it will be functional on all uh, major platforms like either you are going to use safari firefox chrome 
uh, any other devices so you will find a platform compatible adoptable uh, it means that if you are going to change bootstrap with your own functionality you need to know about the SaaS, uh, which you can learn and you can customize the bootstrap functionality to build your own features and functions so it's adoptable here is the idea of uh, column 12 grid column bootstrap is built on 12 column grid so 12 column grid so they can be a single column they can be some divisions that is showing over here like first you can see they are 12 column uh, which you can use to put all the content in the same column but if you want divide you can do the division like for 1 11 2 10 this is a column division that you can do in a row right so in a single row you can have three column on the left and the nine column on the right side four column on the left and eight columns on the right side five column seven so there is a distribution that you can do even you can equally divide the page into six by six column so it's possible to build a page by six by six column as well so how easy it is and here is another example with some distribution like if you have 12 columns in a grid so you can equally divide into 12 which i rarely see but usually uh, these are the column distribution that you are going to use six by six four 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 three equal columns or eight four four eight or 12 column like a single column where you can define the complete page so this is how so what happens uh, inside container a row can have 12 columns so first you are going to define a div that div is a container class div and then you are going to define a another div inside of container that contain a row class okay so first hierarchy you will have a container and then you will have a row and uh, within a row you can have columns okay your column can be a single 12 column or what distribution you need it okay maybe a column is a four column two column and six but they equally uh, creating a 12 column grid they can be less so empty space is available but the maximum you can use 12 column okay so here you are a uh, container can have multiple rows it's all up to you your design requirement you can have uh, three row four row ten rows there is no limit on the number of rows it's all up to your design requirement okay so this is a very up to the mark and required definition and detail of bootstrap in the next video i will show you how to use bootstrap on your web page